The Visitation of the Blessed Virgin Mary. The lesson is taken from the sermons of St. John Chrysostom, Patriarch of Constantinople. As soon as our Redeemer was come among us, he went with haste, while as yet he was in his mother's womb, to visit his friend John. And John, in the one womb, becoming conscious of the presence of Jesus in the other womb, dashed himself impatiently against the narrow walls of his natural prison, as though crying out, I see the very Lord who hath given nature her bounds, and I wait not for the due season of my birth. There is no need for me to linger here till nine months are added, for he that is eternal is with me I will break out of my dark cell I will proclaim my full knowledge of many wonders. I am the sign. I will show that the Christ is here. I am the trumpet let me peel forth the news that the Son of God is come in the flesh. Let me give my trumpet note, let me bless my father's tongue, and make it to speak again. Let me give my trumpet note, let me quicken my mother's womb. Thou seest, O beloved, how new and how strange a mystery is here. John is not born, but by leaping he speaketh. He is yet unseen, and he giveth warning. He is not yet able to cry, but by his acts he is heard. He draweth not yet the breath of life, but he preacheth God. He seeth not yet the light, but he maketh known the sun. He is not come out of the womb, but he hasteth to play the forerunner. In the presence of the Lord he cannot restrain himself. He rebelleth against the bounds set by nature, and struggleth to break out of the prison of the belly. His longing is to herald the coming Saviour. He saith, as it were, Behold, the Deliverer cometh, and am I to remain still bound to abide here? The word cometh, that he may set right all things, and am I still to tarry in prison? I will go forth. I will run before him, and cry aloud to all men. Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. But do thou tell us, O John, how it came to pass that while thou wast still in the darkness of thy mother's womb, thou didst see and hear? How didst thou behold the things of God? How didst thou leap and bound for joy? Great, saith John, is the mystery of that which taketh place here, far from the understanding of men are these doings. It is meet that I should do a new thing in nature for the sake of him who is making new things which are beyond nature. I see in the womb, because I see the sun of righteousness in a womb. I hear, because I am coming as the herald of the great word. I cry out, because I as be the only begotten son of the father clad in flesh. I bound for joy, because I see that he by whom all things were made, hath taken upon him the form of a servant. I leap because I think of the Redeemer of the world being made flesh. I run before his coming, and herald his approach unto you with this, as it were, my confession. Amen. The lesson is taken from the Holy Gospel according to Saint Luke. And Mary arose in those days, and went into the hill country with haste, into a city of Judah. And entered into the house of Zacharias, and saluted Elizabeth. And so on. Homily by Saint Ambrose. Bishop of Milan. We must here consider that the greater cometh unto the lesser, Mary unto Elizabeth, Christ unto John. And again afterwards, to hallow the baptism of John, the Lord came unto him to be baptized. It was soon that the blessings of the coming of Mary and of the presence of God were made manifest. Have regard here to the distinction made, and to the special weight of every word. Elizabeth was the first to hear the voice of Mary's salutation but John was the first to receive grace. She heard naturally, but he leapt mystically. She hailed the coming of Mary, he that of the Lord, Mary and Elizabeth spake words full of grace, but Jesus and John worked, and commenced their mystery of godliness from their mother's beginnings, and so by twin miracles the mothers prophesied from the spirit of their unborn offspring. The babe leapt, and the mother was filled with the Holy Ghost. The mother was not filled before the Son, but when the Son was filled with the Holy Ghost, he filled his mother also. And whence is this to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? That is to say, how cometh it to pass that so great a good should befall me, as that the mother of my Lord should come to me? I feel the miracle, I acknowledge the mystery. The mother of my Lord, pregnant with the word, is full of God. And Mary abode with her about three months, and returned to her own house. It is meet to record how Mary showed this kindness, 
and abode this mystic number of months. She tarried long, not only for friendship's sake, but also for the good of the great prophet. For if the first coming of Mary so blessed him, that even as a babe in the womb he leapt for joy, and his mother was filled with the Holy Ghost, what blessedness must we not deem to have flowed upon him from so long neighborhood of Mary? Thus was the prophet anointed, and trained by exercise like a strong wrestler, in his mother's womb, for his sinews were being braced for a hard battle. Amen. Benedicat vos omnipotens Deus, Potter, et Filius, et Spiritus Sanctus. Amen.